Assalamu alaikum everyone and this is me in Uzbekistan and here I am at Tashkent and behind me you can see this beautiful school which was built back in the 16th century uh, it's called the Ku Kaldesh uh, Madrasa uh, and it was built uh, like say in the 16th century by Abdullah Khan the second and till today it continues to uh, teach uh, people about uh, teach people about Islam. It's a madrasa, and uh, here you can see the pictures of all the different uh, ulama and teachers uh, you know, throughout uh, the years and until uh, today. You can explain this. This is uh, one of the recent masajid that have been opened here in Tashkent. So here, the year old, mashallah, still preserving the old architecture. Uh, from the Islamic era. So I'm here in uh, Tashkent uh, in uh, what is known as uh, Hazrati Imami. Uh, it's a complex which inshallah will be visiting its uh, houses one of the authentic original mushafs of uh, that was compiled by uh, Uthman عنه, uh, as he made copies of the masahif uh, and uh, apparently this is one of the copies uh, will be here inshallah ta'ala and we'll be able to see that so here this is the masjid uh, of the Hazrati Imami you can see mashallah it's very big very vast big domes and beautiful architecture and engraving although one could argue that this extensive engraving is not in accordance with the Sunnah the Prophet didn't want us to spend too much on the engraving but uh, people wanted to give the masjid its splendor and to give it almost like an awe in the eyes of people so I think from that perspective we might find an excuse for them but you know, overspending and indulging in the masjid is not something the Prophet and I'm encouraged. And probably it's also a sign of the, the Day of Judgment. But that shouldn't distract from uh, looking at this beautiful uh, work that has gone into this masjid. And just look at the beautiful engraving and, and architecture and the amount of work gone into this. So behind me is the this building here which you can see is where the uh, they're housing one of the early copies of the Mus'haf. Uh, as you know, at the time of Uthman Radiallahu he made uh, six copies of the Mus'haf uh, and he sent it throughout the world. One of these copies uh, is housed here. Unfortunately, we're not able to take any pictures of it because of uh, you know preservation and all that sort of thing. Uh, they're claiming here that this is the original one that Uthman Radiallahu was reciting in when he was killed, and so the blood is on it. Uh, whether people dispute it and say no this is not the right one it really doesn't matter it's uh, it's good that uh, it's actually one of those original uh, six probably the one that was in some saying it was one in Basra and then it was brought to this area by Taymur Link in the 14th uh, century so mashallah a great piece of history here in, in Tashkent. So the reason why this place is called the Hazrati Imami complex is related to this man here who is buried here and that is the Imam, the great Imam and scholar uh, Abu Bakr Ashashi al Qafal al Kabir. Uh, he was known as Ashashi because uh, the other name for Tashkent was Shash in the olden days or even Shash Kent. So he was known as Ashashi, meaning the person from, uh, from this area. And he uh, is a very um, notable and great scholar uh, from the Shafi'i Madhab. Uh, he was around in the 4th century. Uh, so quite early within the Islamic realm uh, and he uh, studied with the likes of uh, the Muhaddis Ibn Khuzayma, the guy who wrote Sahih Ibn Khuzayma and also he studied with Ibn Jarir al-Tabari, again the famous 
uh, scholar who, who compiled, maybe considered in some ways the father of, of Tafsir, uh, Ibn, uh, Ibn Jarir al-Tabari. Uh, and, and, and his t- students were people like Al-Hakim and people like Ibn Manda, again, great hadith master. So a great man who, who, uh, who existed and, and, and notably re- wrote so much. And he is uh, credited for bringing the, the Shafi'i madhab to this area, the area of Khurasan, the area beyond the, uh, the river. Uh, and so he uh, was, you know, very uh, intellectual, uh, wrote so many books, and he then um, went on to, uh, like I say, teach and bring the Shafi'i madhab. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, people in uh, in Uzbekistan, they they didn't uh, retain the Shafi'i madhab. They switched over to the Hanafi madhab, uh, which is unfortunate for them. Only joking. I know some <laughs> say what's wrong. I'm only joking. They, all the madhabs are good. Uh, and um, we support them in that regard. However, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy uh, on him uh, for the works that he does and uh, a notable figure in, in Uzbekistan. And lastly, in this complex, there's this institute, which is the Institute for, uh, for Imam uh, al-Bukhari um, for, for uh, teaching. So uh, Imam Bukhari, again, a notable figure within Uzbekistan, which inshallah we will talk about in other videos. So I hope you enjoy this video. Inshallah, uh, there will be more videos uh, to come as uh, I uh, write my memoirs from this beautiful country. Assalamu alaikum.